Hello families, this is Miss Gabby from Excel and today we're going to talk about activities that you can do at home to help your child be ready for next year. Now, if you came to school and picked up an activity bag, you will find some great resources in this bag. For example, uh, you will find this wonderful book with great tips and examples of things that you can do to help your child be ready for next year. You will also find this finger puppet activity along with the old McDonald's song a dry erase board that is double-sided, a calendar full of activities, a dry erase marker, some crayons, a glue stick, this great writing booklet, and you will find a wonderful book. Now that we have all of our materials, let's see what we can do with this to help our children be ready for next year. Now that we have our materials, let's take a look at some of the things that we can do with them. The very first thing that I want to take a look at is this calendar. I just love it. It has the month of June, July, and of course, August. This calendar is wonderful and is reusable because as you can see, there are no numbers. It's just for several weeks on that month. And uh, when it comes to kindergarten readiness, it's, it's really fantastic because it gives you every day an activity to do with your child that is simple, that is easy, but that is gonna help getting your child on the right track for kindergarten. For example, on the first Monday of June, you can find three things in your house that are round. That's excellent to practice shapes. On Tuesday, they can practice writing their name. On Wednesday, they can read a story with a family member, show the front and back of the cover, and which way they turn the pages. On Thursday, they can build a tower using blocks, counting how many blocks tall they can make their towel. And every single day has a different activity. And there is one for June, one for July, and one for August. All of these wonderful activities will help your child with some of the skills that they will need for this upcoming year. The next thing that we have is this dry erase board. I love this dry erase board because it's double-sided. So it has one side that is ruled, which children can use to practice and trace their letters or their name. My name is Gabby, so I just traced that in, in the ruling. Uh, and in the other side, there's actually a double opportunity for things. First, as you can see, the entire alphabet is in uppercase at the top and then it's in lowercase at the bottom. So this is great because children can practice letters or they can also just use this free blanks page for drawing. I love drawing flowers. I'm not a great drawer, but I like doing it. <laughs> and I'm sure your kids are much better artists than I am. This is a great activity and these markers are fantastic because they're erasable and they have an eraser in the back of it. So they can just um, erase away their work and use it all over again, many times. The next activity that we have is finger puppets. And I just love this activity. This activity is wonderful because it has all of the different animals that you can find in Old McDonald's farm. And if you look at the sheet behind it, it has the song, Old McDonald had a farm. And it has each one of the animals in the song with the sound that they make for them to use the little finger puppets with. And to make this activity even more fun, we've put some crayons so that they can color their animals and just have a lot of fun when they make their finger puppets. The next activity that we have is this little booklet that is fantastic. I love it, it's very simple. It's just a front cover and a back cover, and it has some blank pages. They're not ruled or anything, they're just blank. 
And now the reason why I like this book is because it is um, a fantastic opportunity for children to just be creative. So what they can do is they can write a little booklet about themselves or maybe just write their very own story or just do a fun book with all sorts of different things. For this example, I did my fun book as if I was one of the children. And here's a picture of me, of course. <laughs> And here's my favorite food, which is ice cream. My favorite color, green. And what I did is I colored the color and I wrote it on top. So it's great, you know, writing recognition along with color recognition. My favorite flower, which is a rose. So it's really a book about me. And um, in the case of this picture, I drew this picture as if I was my daughter. So this is a picture of our family. It has my husband me the mom and of course my daughter which says me which she would be my daughter italia <laughs> also it's great for children to use this book to be creative and maybe write about their environment for example today is sunny and yesterday was rainy and the great thing about this book is that it has plenty of pages for them to do all sorts of different writing like i said they can do a booklet about themselves or maybe even create a book on their own and come up with their own story. Well, families, I really enjoyed sharing these activities with you. I hope that you enjoy them and you do them at home with your child. Thank you very much for the time that you spent with me today and I will see you next time.